Hi and welcome to today's webinar, Moving Away from Spreadsheets for Budgeting. I'm Juanita Potheter and I head up marketing at Verde Group New Zealand, an Oracle NetSuite partner. Before we move on, note that the content in this video is intended for information purposes only and correct at the time of publishing. Statements in this presentation relating to Oracle's and Verdo's future plans, expectations, beliefs, intentions, and prospects are forward-looking statements and are subject to material risks and uncertainties. Now, everyone on the call has been muted, but at the end of the webinar, I would love to answer some of your questions um, about NetSuite planning and budgeting, so please feel free to submit any questions that you may have into the chat box. Now, this webinar is being recorded and it will be shared with you after today so that you can share it with your colleagues. So before I dive into the demo, I would like to go over our agenda for today's session. I'll be sharing with you some of the challenges surrounding the static budgeting process, how an active budgeting process prepares for the future, and I'll give you a quick background on the NetSuite Planning and Budgeting Standard Edition. Then I will show you a product demo of the solution and we will have about five minutes at the end for questions and answers. Here are some stats that I would like to share with you today. Now Excel is definitely a great tool, but there's a lot of frustration when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets for budgeting. So according to Ventana Research, 75% of effort is wasted re-keying and manually rolling up data in the budgeting process. In fact, 90% of spreadsheets contain data and formula errors. And about 70% of organizations still use spreadsheets across their budgeting and reporting processes. And a manual budgeting process is very difficult to manage in itself. And the finance team can waste way too much time ensuring accuracy instead of spending that time on analysis. So let's dive more into what a static budgeting process looks like. As you can see on this slide, if you continue to use Excel in your budgeting and reporting processes, you'll be facing some of these issues, if not all of them. Managing budgets in Excel requires a lot of tactical work, downloading CSVs, cutting and pasting, updating formulas and link, updating forecasts and models, and emailing files. How many times have you thought that you had double-checked everything, but then you got to that last-minute change and forgot to update the link in your formula before presenting it to the management team or even your board? The business is really depending on you to get the numbers right, and mistakes could lead to misguided decisions if not caught. And if managing the budgeting process is so time-consuming that we're only focused on looking backwards, then I think we're missing the value of budgeting for the business, which is to look forward and figure out the short-term, medium-term and long-term plans. Now with an active budgeting process, you can reduce the amount of time required to gather financial and operational data. You can collect business information in one central location that everyone can access from your finance team, accounting, business managers, even your controller and CFO. You will also be able to better connect key drivers of your business to improve budget performance and accuracy. This allows finance to easily collaborate as active business partners. Also, with an active budgeting process, you can help your company adjust resource allocations as market conditions change. You'll also be able to spend more time drilling into the data to understand the source of the numbers. And also, you'll be able to quickly run budget scenarios and analysis to explore different business opportunities. So today's businesses are responding by turning their investments towards the budgeting and reporting processes. To finally adopt the process that delivers greater confidence, accuracy in the data, and also with consistency and speed, all under their control and collaboration. So what is NetSuite Planning and Budgeting Standard Edition? NetSuite Planning and Budgeting facilitates both company-wide and departmental budgeting with one collaborative and scalable solution. The pre-built data synchronization with NetSuite ERP enables financial data to be used throughout the entire budgeting process, eliminating that need to transfer data manually.
It's an easy to use budgeting solution that connects directly with NetSuite General Ledger and includes pre-built logic for projecting revenues and expenses. So here are some of the project features NetSuite Planning and Budgeting Standard Edition offers. The pre-built reports, templates and capabilities make it fast and easy to get your budgeting processes set on the right path. So you get executive dashboards, revenue projections, templates, OPEX templates, actual versus budget reports, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, and Microsoft integration with SmartView. And here are some of the benefits that you'll be getting from NetSuite planning and budgeting. First and foremost, the pre-built synchronization with NetSuite Financials increases data integrity by eliminating the need to transfer data manually. You will gain greater control and visibility over your budget process. You will increase collaboration with business key stakeholders and drive better decision making as well as be able to reduce your budgeting cycle time while producing more accurate revenue and expense projections. And most important, you'll be able to streamline your data collection processes and free up time from low value added work. Now let's go and look at NetSuite planning and budgeting in action. Um, today I will demonstrate the NetSuite standard edition and I can access planning and budgeting capabilities directly from my NetSuite homepage. In the tools menu, I manage a synchronization between ERP and planning data. I can schedule low jobs or execute them on demand as well as review activity logs. On the setup menu, I can manage other data load configuration settings. To access the planning homepage, I'll select NetSuite, planning and budgeting from the menu. Homepage icons organize the application content and provide user navigation to forms, reports, and dashboards. Let's jump into reporting and analytics. Vertical tabs identify reporting or budgeting workflows for reporting and analytics. The workflows consist of various reports, financial reports, CFO dashboards, and NetSuite ERP reports. Horizontal tabs contain reports, dashboards, or data entry templates specific to the workflow. I'll select the Edit Members icon to filter segments and render the level of detail I would like to see. I can now review or edit variants explanations for each line. On this budget versus actual report, I'll perform a scenario analysis by filtering through comparative versions and analyzing variants to actuals. Selecting the financial reporting workflow provides access to reports which are available in a variety of formats. CFO dashboards allow me to visualize key performance metrics and trends across the organization. By changing the fiscal year, I can review both historical data and future projections. I can also customize the dashboard to suit my needs. Here I'll change the chart type for this visual. The cash flow dashboard allows me to quickly access our cash position, cash flow trends, liquidity and solvency ratios. Digging into asset composition, I will drill into total current assets and I can maximize the graph for better visualization and analysis. My NetSuite general ledger reports like a detailed income statement are also accessible from within the budgeting module. I can utilize access to these NetSuite general ledger reports to drill into postings within my financial statements. Navigating to the revenue and gross margin icon presents a series of web forms allowing me to create projections or forecasts in a variety of ways. I can change my projections by using a built-in methodology. Here I'll use a 9-month rolling average for these products. I can also manually enter my plans using both bottom and top-down methods. 
here I'll enter some monthly profile values to use as the basis for spreading an annual budget value. By default, the form displays existing products and customer combinations. To budget for a new product not previously purchased by this customer, select New Item, search or select the new product, then enter the target amount in the total. By right clicking on a data cell, I can provide additional details to support the budgeting assumptions, including comments, attaching files, providing supporting details and viewing the change history. In this case, I will add comments with a justification for my entry for this new product line. Right-clicking also allows shortcuts to specific actions such as drilling to account details, adding new items on the fly or changing the view. I will select product revenue by customer. Now I'm looking at a new form displaying all customers who have purchased the selected product. Now let's have a look at predictive planning capabilities. Selecting predictive planning from the actions menu initiates running built-in predictive engine against my projections at the summary and detailed levels. In the options, I'll set the date range to our last period of actuals. The predictive engine reacts automatically as I drill down on customers, to view analysis for each category and down to individual accounts. If I'm happy with the generated prediction, I have the option to paste the prediction values into my plan by using this paste menu. Top level adjustments provide the ability to enter top down or target values and allows the system to proportionally adjust the data for all items and customers. In this case, I want to adjust my budget for next year by 20% for all items. The product revenue dashboard provides a way for me to visually assess my projections and trends. I'll drill down on total item for better insight into SKU level trending. I have the ability to plan for other types of revenue streams such as service revenues or other revenues. I can also plan my gross margin by planning my cost of goods sold. Total revenue dashboards bring all the revenue streams together and blended visualizations across customers items, classes, or lines of business. I also have insight into year-over-year -year growth by revenue stream and customer. Now let's shift to defining our budget for operating expenses. Consistent with the revenue form, we can utilize pre-built trending options to define our operating expenses. The OPEX details form allows for sub-GL account planning with commentary. I have the option to define the number of detailed rows to add for each expense account. We'll now shift to the OPEX trend dashboard. First I'll filter the dashboard to view total operating expenses. We can view our blended budget from actuals displayed for closed months, to projections for future periods. In addition to the OPEX trend dashboard, we also have pre-built summary level expense dashboards to provide visibility into expenses by department, by account, and to evaluate how expenses are rolling up as a percent of our total revenue. I'll navigate home and click the financials card to review my consolidated income statement, balance sheet and cash flow reports, which incorporate actuals and budget. 
I'll review the income statement. The income statement can be viewed by subsidiary, currency, department and class. I can filter the view to display the rolled view for total department and total class. On the income statement dashboard, we can view KPIs and drill into details of revenue and expense. From here I can drill into gross profit, then into income and total sales, then into services sales where I can visualize the details of my services revenue streams. Now I'll navigate back to my income statement. From here I can see the details behind any numbers for any account by right clicking and selecting drill to income statement details. This level of drill through view allows me to see the transaction details stored in the NetSuite planning module. This is useful for users who, due to security permissions, may not require access to actual transaction records in the general ledger. If the user has the necessary security permissions, they can continue to drill back to the transaction search as well as individual records in the NetSuite general ledger. Now, in addition to the income statement, NetSuite planning and budgeting allows for projecting the balance sheet and cash flow. I'm going to navigate to the balance sheet trending model so we can walk through the logic. The balance sheet is driven by recognizable metrics, which link it to the income statement. In the balance sheet trending workflow, you can see these metrics called out in the names of the horizontal tabs. Days, sales outstanding, days inventory outstanding, and days payable outstanding. Let's quickly walk through the logic for days sales outstanding. We start with total sales, which is the roll up of my revenue accounts from the income statement. We will then use a percentage to calculate percent of sales on credit. We will divide that by days in month to derive credit sales per day and finally, we multiply our projected day sales outstanding values in order to calculate the trade receivables closing balance for all budget periods. Moving through the workflow, the day's payable outstanding tab starts with cost of goods sold from the income statement and through similar calculations from the top down, we multiply by our projected day's payable outstanding values in order to calculate the accounts payable closing balance for all budget periods. For additional balance sheet accounts you may choose to create projections for, we offer the ability to apply trending options for each balance sheet account using actuals, a percent of sales or manually entering the values. After sending the drivers for the balance sheet, you can review the cash cycle dashboard to visualize trending of major drivers of cash across income statement, balance sheet and cash conversion cycle metric. Now I'll navigate to review the consolidated balance sheet. Here I can see actual to budget trending for each balance sheet account. The Balance Sheet Monthly Movements tab allows us to drill into each balance sheet account to view the opening balance and monthly movements which are summed to calculate the closing balance. The monthly movements actual periods are also drillable back to transaction detail in the general ledger as indicated by the small flag in the upper right corner of the cells. Consistent with other functional areas, we have a drillable balance sheet dashboard in order to highlight important metrics and break out trending of assets, liabilities and equity. The last financial statement we will cover is an indirect cash flow statement and corresponding cash flow dashboard. Again, on the cash flow statement, we can see the trending of actual through budgets. On the cash flow dashboard, we have trended metrics, total operating activities to sales, free cash flow to debt, and cash generating power ratio. Now let's quickly explore SmartView, the Microsoft Office add-in for NetSuite planning and budgeting. I can work with any formal report in Microsoft Excel. I can use the Actions menu to open the report in Excel. 
If I'm already in Excel, I can simply access any form or report from the document library on the right hand side of the screen. Once I have a formal report open and smart view, I can now perform ad hoc analysis on any planning data I have access to. I'll drag the customer segment onto the rows of this report so I can compare customer sales this month to the last month and I'll filter on total sales by moving the account segment to the point of view and to get the customer detail I can drill down on the customer category by double clicking the cell. I can leverage Excel's rich formatting capabilities to create formatted reports that can be shared or distributed throughout the organization. On this expense report, I can filter across departments by clicking the drop down for the department segment and then click and refresh. And finally, I can roll this report forward for the next month by replacing the month description in my data columns. And now I can simply refresh the report. And now we'll see our refresh data. That wraps up our demonstration for NetSuite planning and budgeting. Um, I have seen a lot of questions come through while in the presentation. Um, if you do have any additional questions, please pop them through to us. If I don't get to all the um, questions in the next few minutes, um, I will make sure that I answer you on email after our webinar today. Um, the first question here is, are we able to input data into Excel and have that saved into the model? Right, that is a good question. Um, absolutely. Um, with SmartView Office, the add-in for Excel and the broader Microsoft toolset, it allows for bi-directional communication. So you can view um, data within Excel and you can also update a budget and forecast data directly from Excel and store that data back into the cloud environment. Um, Another one, if we have sales or other data in Excel or a CSV file, can we import that data into the application? Right, so following along the ability to update data from Excel, you can certainly use the tool to import data. Um, it could be a flat file such as a CSV file that can be imported. You can also use Excel to link formula logic from other spreadsheets. So you can just put a simple Excel form that links a cell in the database to a value in another spreadsheet and have it update the values that way. So there's a lot of options for importing or getting data into the system. Um, another one here, um, it might be our last one, just looking at the time. Um, how often can we refresh the data from NetSuite ERP into the planning and budgeting module? Now, um, right, this is really up to the customer how and how frequently you want to update or refresh the data. Typically it would be nightly or once a week but you could do it multiple times throughout the day and it does depend upon the data volumes, um, how quickly the refresh happens but it could be you know um, every hour if you wanted to update the data that frequently. So let me just see, I think that is all the time we have for the session today. If you do have any further questions, please reach out to us at sales at verdegroup.co.nz. If you would like to have a chat to our sales team, um, please make contact. We do offer a free consultation to explore ERP options. So please reach out to us and we would look forward to having a discussion with you. Thank you very much for joining today. Good Goodbye, everyone.